Shalom and blessings, warriors of you who are in the truth. I apologize. I just came off of a, um, a, uh, I think it was a three or four hour fellowship, and um, I, uh, I haven't really had the chance to uh, read out of the Sefer lately, but um, Ecclesiasticus, we are continuing on in, in Ecclesiasticus 38 today. Um, I also wanted to show you guys the Zeet Zeets, um, because I, I know, like, everybody watches different videos that I make on here. Um, these, um, these are the ones that I'm going to be keeping because, um, these are the first pair I've, or set that I've ever made. Um, I will have some for sale when I can, uh, get some more materials to make them. Um, Temu, um, I ordered for, it was only like two, two dollars and something or three dollars and something for a bag of a bunch of different colors, but I didn't realize that they didn't have a lot of the navy blue and the white, which you really need for the Zeet Zeets. And they do have a few shades of purple that, um, that I could, could use or, and they have a few shades of blue. They just didn't, they only have one thing of white. So I'm going to, um, as soon as I can get the funds to order some more um, materials, I will be making some. Just let me know in the comments whether you would rather have them in nylon, which is easier to throw them in the wash and they won't get ruined, or whether you want them in cotton, uh, cotton threads. Okay, so we are on Ecclesiasticus 38. And um, I forgot if I said this or not. Um, I'm kind of tired. Um, the... Uh, my sound was not fixed, so I got like almost five minutes into my video here and I had to go back and fix my sound because um, it was turned down, my microphone was turned down to 77%, so um, I apologize. So take two. <laughs> and count it all joy. All right, we are on 38. Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which ye may have of him. For Yahuwah has created him. For of all Alion comes healing, and he shall receive honor of the king. The skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of the great men he shall be in admiration. Yahuwah has created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Was not the water made sweet with wood, that the virtue thereof might be known? And he has given men skill, that he might be honored in his marvelous works. With such he heals men, and takes away their pains. Of such the apothecary makes a confection, and of his works there is no end. And from him is peace over all the earth. My son, in your sickness be not negligent. But pray unto Yahuwah, and he will make you whole. Leave off from sin, and order your hands aright, and cleanse your heart from all wickedness. Give a sweet savor and a memorial of fine flour, and make a fat offering as not, as not being. Then give place to the physician, for Yahuwah has created him. Let him not go from you, for you have need of him. There is a time when in their hands there is good success. For they shall also pray unto Yahuwah that he would prosper, that which they give for ease and remedy to prolong life. <clears throat> he that sins before his maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. My son, let tears fall down over the dead and begin to lament, as if you had suffered great harm yourself and then cover his body according to the custom and neglect not his burial weep bitterly and make great moan and use lamentation as he is worthy and that a day or two lest lest you be evil spoken of and then comfort yourself for your heaviness for of heaviness comes death and the heaviness of the heart breaks strength in affliction also sorrow sorrow remains and the life of the poor is the curse of the heart. Take no heaviness to heart. Drive it away and remember the last end. Forget it not, for there is no turning again. You shall not do him good, but hurt yourself. Remember my judgment for you all. For you also shall be yesterday for me and today for you. When the dead is at rest, let his remembrance rest and be comforted for him when his Ruach depart is departed from him. 
The wisdom of a learned man comes by opportunity of leisure, and he that has little business shall become wise. How can he get wisdom that holds the plow and that glories in the goad that drives oxen and is occupied in his lab in their labors and whose talk is of bullocks? He gives his mind to make furrows and is diligent to give the kind fodder. So every carpenter and workmaster that labors night and day, and they that cut and grave seals and are diligent to make great variety and give themselves to counterfeit. In that imagery and watch to finish a work the smith also sitting by the anvil and considering the ironwork the vapor of the fire wastes his flesh and he fights with the heat of the of the furnace the noise of the hammer and the anvil is ever in his ears and his eyes look still upon the pattern of the thing that he makes he sets his mind to finish his work and watches to polish it perfectly so does the potter sitting at his work and turning the wheel about with his feet, who is always carefully set at his work and makes all his work by number. He fashions the clay with his arm and bows down his strength before his feet. He applies himself to lead it over, and he is diligent to make clean the furnace. All these trusts in their hands, and everyone is wise in his work. Without these cannot a city be inhabited, and they shall not dwell where they will, nor go up and down. They shall not be sought in, for in public council, nor sit high in the assembly. They shall not sit on the judge's seat, nor understand the sentence of judgment. They cannot declare justice and judgment, and they shall not be found where parables are spoken. But they will maintain the state of the world, and all their desire is in the work of their craft." 39. <clears throat> but he that gives his mind to the Torah of al Alyan and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and, he, and be occupied in prophecies. He will guard the sayings of the renowned men and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be constant in dark parables. He shall serve among great men and appear before princes. He will travel through strange countries, for he has tried the good and the evil among men. He will give his heart to resort early to Yahuwah that made him, and will pray before al Alion, and will open his mouth in prayer and make supplication for his sins. When the great Yahuwah will, he shall be filled with the Ruach Baina. Baina means spirit of understanding or Ruach Baina, means spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto Yahuwah in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets shall he meditate. He shall show forth that which he has learned and shall glory in the Torah of the covenant of Yahuwah. Many shall commend his understanding, and so long as the world endures, it shall not be blotted out. His memorial shall not depart away, and his name shall live from generation to generation. Nations shall show forth his wisdom, and the assembly shall declare his praise. If he dies, he shall leave a greater name than a thousand, and if he lives, he shall increase it. Yet I, have I more to say which I have thought upon, for I am filled as the moon at the full. Hearken unto me, ye Kodesh children, and bud forth as a rose growing by the brook of the field. And give ye a sweet savor as frankincense, and flourish as a lily. Send forth a smell, and sing a song of praise. Bless Yahuwah in all his works. Magnify his name, and show forth his praise with the songs of your lips, and, and with harps. And in praising him ye shall say after this manner, All the works of Yahuwah are exceedingly good. And whatsoever he commands shall be accomplished in due season, and none may say, What is this? Wherefore is that? For at time convenient they shall all be sought out. At his commandment the water stood as a heap, and at the words of his mouth the receptacles of waters. At his commandment is done whatsoever pleases him, and nothing can hinder. Nothing can hinder. Um, let me see. When he he will save. Nothing can stop Yahuwah when he will save. 
the works of all flesh are before him, and nothing can be hidden from his eyes. He sees from everlasting to everlasting, and there is nothing wonderful before him. A man need not to say, what is this? Where, wherefore is that? For he has made all all things for their uses. His blessing covered the dry land as a river and watered it as a flood. As he has turned the waters into saltness, so shall the heathen inherit his wrath. As, as his ways are plain in the Kodesh, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. For the good are good things created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. The principal things for the whole use of, of man's life are water, iron, fire, iron, and, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the, of the grape, and oil and clothing. All these things are for good to the righteous, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. There be Ruachos, spirits, that are created for vengeance, which is their fury lay on, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth. When need is, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. Therefore, for the, from the beginning, I was resolved and thought upon these things, and have left them in writing. All the works of Yahuwah are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. So that a man cannot say this is worse than that, for in time they shall all be well approved. And therefore praise ye Yahuwah with the whole heart and mouth, and bless the name of Yahuwah. Baruch haba Vashem Yahuwah Um... I'm going to read um, one or two more chapters. Um, we're on 40. Great travail is created for every man, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of men from the day that they go out of their mother's womb till the day that they return to their mother, to the mother of all things. Um, Great travail is created for every man, and a heavy yoke is upon the sons of men from the day that they go out of their mother's womb till the day that they return to the mother of all things. Their imagination of things to come and the day of death trouble their thoughts and cause fear of heart. From him that sits on a throne of glory unto him that is humbled in earth and ashes. From him that wears purple and a crown unto him that is clothed with a linen frock. Wrath and envy, trouble and unquietness, fear of death and anger and strife, and in the time of rest upon his bed, his night sleep, do change his knowledge. A little or nothing is his rest, and afterward he is in his sleep as in a day of keeping watch, troubled in the vision of, of his heart, as if he were escaped out of a battle. When all, his sa when all is safe, he awakens and marvels that the fear was nothing. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold more upon sinners. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. <clears throat> all things that are of the earth shall turn to the earth again, shall turn to the earth again, and that, that which is of the waters returns into the sea. All bribery and injustice shall be blotted out, but true dealings shall endure forever. The goods of the unjust shall be dried up like a, a river, and shall vanish with noise like a great thunder and rain. And while he opens his hand, he shall rejoice, so shall transgressors come to naught. The children of the wicked shall not bring forth many branches, but are as unclean roots upon a hard rock. The weed growing up upon every water and bank of a river shall be pulled up before all grass. Bountifulness is as as a most fruitful garden, and merc mercifulness endures forever. 
to labor and to be content with that a man with that a man has is a sweet life but he that finds a treasure is above them both children and the building of a city continue a man's name but a blameless woman is counted above them both wine and music rejoice the heart but the love of wisdom is above them both the pipe and the and the psaltery make sweet melody but a pleasant tongue is above them both your eye desires favor and beauty but before but more than both green while it is green a friend and companion never meet amiss but above both is a woman with her man brethren and help are against time of trouble but alms shall deliver more than than them both gold and silver make the foot stand sure but counsel is esteemed above them both riches and strength lift up the heart but the fear of yahuwah is above them both there is no want in the fear of yahuwah and it needs not to seek help the fear of yahuwah is a fruitful garden and covers him above all glory my son lead not a beggar's life for better it is to die than to beg the life of him that depends on another man's table is not to be counted for a life for he pollutes himself with other men's meat but a wise man well nurtured will beware thereof begging is sweet in the mouth of the shameless but in his belly there shall burn a fire next time we will be reading um, Ecclesiasticus 41 through 42 and possibly 43 um, I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson today um, and um, if you guys would like to join us on the live next time we go live will be tomorrow at noon uh, Eastern Standard Time and um, now it is time to praise Yahuwah No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No trap from the wicked shall prosper. No snare from the devil shall prosper. Yahuwah knows who are his. Do your utmost to show yourself approved. Be ye not deceived by wolves in sheep's clothing. For in the last days there will be blasphemers and evildoers. Do not subject me to gossip and slander. Because I will turn and walk away. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No trap from the wicked shall prosper no snare from the devil shall prosper praise the most high for his loving kindness the ruach hakodesh sustains me do not subject yourselves to the wicked it will only ever end in strife. Do not cast your pearls unto swine. Yahuwah says, stay steadfast, keep my commands, for I call you mine. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you, and purify your heart. I love you all with an everlasting love, as our Abba Yahuwah in the Shamaim loves each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Shalom.